I'm going to show you the easiest way how to cloak your long affiliate ID um, links into a short, easy, that looks very nice for a visitor so they have no idea that they're an affiliate link site. Now this is a page I just pulled up that has an affiliate ID. You can see it's a long name and it has an affiliate ID. It looks like a ClickBank ID. So I just got one. That's what it is. I'm going to show you how to cloak it, how to hide it so people don't see this long um, affiliate ID. Now you want to do this in cPanel if you have this. There's other ways that people mention how to do it. They do it with a redirect. And what the redirect is, they pretty much use the website name and they forward it onto a page like this. But once the person gets there, then this name shows again. So it's just a bypass between your affiliate ID number. Um, so what people see on the front end is just a website name. But when they come to the page, it actually shows your affiliate link. So we're going to show, cloak this all together, hide it all together so no one ever sees it. So if you go to a cPanel, HostGator, if you're in HostGator, or any cPanel domain name server kind of a thing, this is how you do it. Easiest way, I paid someone $20 to actually do this for me and realize that this is a simple process you could do over and over again, multiple times. So when you go to your cPanel, I want you to type the word file in. So you just go to this box and put the word file, and then it will bring up two ways you could change files. One is by the file manager, and one is by legacy file manager. Now most people work with the file manager. I'll show you what it looks like. Now once you hit on there, um, if you have multiple website names, you definitely want to hit the drop down menu so you could access whatever website name you have and pick the one you want. And then you hit show hidden files and then go. Now once you do that, now this is what the file manager, remember I talked about the file manager? This is what it looks like. Once you get here, it's a lot of things to mess with. It's lots of files and folders and it's too, too complicated. So I think that's where most people get lost. So we're going to go back and actually work in the legacy file manager. Now the same thing applies, just open the document root, show hidden files, hit go. Now this is what the legacy file manager looks like. You can see it looks much cleaner, it's easier to work in. So that's what we're going to work in. Now we're going to go to, so to hide your link, cloak your affiliate link, truly the easiest way, just follow me here, you create a folder. In this folder we're going to call it that was the website we were looking at. The top of it was called Trick Photography. We'll just call it Trick, T-R-I-C-K, and we'll just create the folder. So you see created the folder. Now we're going to double click on that folder and we're going to create a new file in that folder. Now when you, that new file in that folder, always call it index.html. Exactly as it is right here, this is something that won't change, index.html. I already did it, so it's, that's why I came up. You're going to create it. Now, once it's created, that's where you're going to put some text there. You're going to copy a special code and just stick it in there, and it'll work beautifully. So you want to double-click on that, and you want to edit file with code editor. Just double-click on that. Scroll down. No need to do anything there. Just, just hit the word edit, and then it brings up this box. You want to copy and paste the code right here that redirects this to the website you've created. So let's find it. So it's right there. Now here's a text I'm going to give you so you can copy and paste it into your website that you're creating so your links will change. Now this is the text I'm going to put in the description box for you to copy and paste your website. When you copy and paste it, you definitely want to change this. I'm actually going to put the word change, change this, and this is the thing that's going to pop up at the heading. So when you see it, it's going to say change this right here. And then this is the affiliate ID that you have. So your long, crazy affiliate ID link, this is where you want to copy and paste. You want to put it directly between the quotations. So when you get this script, you're going to delete this thing right here and copy and paste your affiliate ID between these this arrow here. So since you have that and once you have that done just copy it, copy everything and we're going to paste it in this blue box we mentioned. So we just paste it in there. We're going to save changes. You notice this change successfully change. And then we're going to go back to your file manager 2 again. 
and just hit the folder when we want to go back up to where we get the main folder. One more time. So we put our HTML file in here. Now if you click on this, click on the index HTML again, and just scroll down, you'll notice that it gave us the website that you just created. So you just created whatever domain you have, you created a special name for it, and then you create an index HTML file, and then you pasted this code in there with your long affiliate ID number that you're going to change in there. You paste it in there, and this is what the new website looks like. So we're going to open the new tab. Okay. You'll notice that it says change this, right? Exactly like we put it in. Change this. So remember, you can put it, call it anything you want. If you're promoting cat products, you put cat toys, whatever you want to put in there. If you're promoting a money-making product, you put the name of it there. Whatever you want to put there, that's what's going to show up at the head of the website tab. So you notice the difference here. I'm going to put it closer so you can see. Now this is the one with the long affiliate ID. Now this is the one we just created. You'll notice it has the nice clean your website domain name, whatever name you gave it. And actually when you give someone the address, you won't even give them index HTML, you just give them that, and it looks like a nice, simple, clean website. Um, they won't know that this website is the same as this with this long affiliate ID. I mean, anyone could spot that this one was your ID. With this one, it just looks like your personal website address, no one could tell. So if you like this video, definitely I'll put the, um, the script you could use to cloak your affiliate IDs. Very simple process. All you need is this script right here. Remove this information right here between the quotation marks that you have. Put your new affiliate ID link in there and you are set. Now, also if you're looking for a way to truly retire in the next six months, without messing around with you know websites and traffic and all the things that goes along with making a website in the link I'll show you a video of, of how to retire in the next six months with no website and no traffic and if you're interested definitely check out that video as well but thanks so much for watching and hope you enjoy the video check the description box where you'll find the copy of the script you'll need to post in on your website